What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new Squad Foundation Player SBC card that EA just released and it is going to be Banzer to review today. Now I saw this guy's silver card, right? And I saw two star skill moves with a two star weak foot and I knew if EA didn't upgrade that, mm, no one, I repeat, no one would have done this card. But they actually went ahead and gave him four star skill moves with a four star weak foot, which is simply incredible. It's saying... That the stats actually look like that. 88 pace, 85 dribbling, 88 shooting, 85 physicals with a 73 passing as well. He's a six foot two player with high low work rates and he is right footed. Now, as soon as I saw six foot two, I was like, okay, which one, which one of those stats in the dribbling is going to look a little bit questionable? But then I actually looked at it dribbling and for a six foot two player, it's actually really good. Yes, I've gone ahead and applied the engine chem style to help out a bit more, a bit more, sorry. But why not? You know, you might as well help out a little bit more so you can make sure this guy feels really good on the ball while also boosting up his passing while also boosting up his pace. You don't really need to touch this guy's shooting ability. Like, look at it. 92 finishing, 86 shot power, 94 attacking positioning, 85 long shots, 81 volleys with the 82 penalties. That right there is more than good enough. And you definitely do not need to touch the physicals. 89 strength, 80 aggression. 92 jumping and 97 heading accuracy. He isn't one of those uh, like tall players that's got like low jumping and low heading accuracy. No, this guy's got 92 jumping and 97 heading accuracy. You know, if you cross the ball to this guy, most likely he will be winning the header and it's going to be an absolute beauty of a header as well. Now, has he got anything like power header? Has he got like finesse shot or outside foot shot? No, he does not, which is a bit unfortunate, but hey, it is what it is at the end of the day. Now, when it comes down to the links, French. That, that right there tells you all you need to know pretty much, right? Because that French nationality is always, and I repeat, always going to be beautiful to see in this game. So I have gone for Dembele, Saint Maximum, and your boy Nakata. Now, we're not using Nzagi. We won't talk about what happened earlier. But he does obviously come from the Liga Nos, and the club is a bit tough, you know? It's not like Porto or even like a Sporting or even like a Benfica, let's say. No, it's a club that hasn't got a lot of uh, good players in this game. So yeah, you might as well just go ahead and put French players around him if you want to get him on full chemistry. Now the positions, I am literally going to be playing this guy in one position and one position only. And it is going to be the strike position in a 4-4-2 formation. So let's get into the games. Give it to Dembele here. There you go. That's a nice run from Banzar. Decent touch. Not a crazy. Good turn. Pass it into the middle, maybe? Nah, I tried to see if I could sweat it across there just to go for an easy finish. And that is absolutely questionable for my opponent. And just like that, we have ourselves our first goal. <laughs> there you go. Banza, I'm going to need you to win this header, bro. There you go, man. You're six foot two. You've got good jumping. You should be easily winning that header. Continue. Nice use of pace. I'm going to smack it across goal. And we've actually got our second goal. Really, really good use of pace. And you can tell that heading ability in that midfield is going to be nice. I'm actually going to RBA that to the front post. See if I can go for maybe for a few twists and turns. He doesn't, I must admit, he doesn't feel extremely agile on the ball. But he's not a player that feels bad on the ball either. Can I free ball that? Can we get a goal? Yes, we can. With a weaker foot. That four-star weak foot. Touching a cutter. There you go. I'm just going to continue running forward a little bit. He's not really wanting to make this run, but you know what? I'm going to go for it. And that was not a bad shot. It low-key looked like he was actually flying towards the top bins. And the keeper obviously had to put off the save. Let's see what we can do off this corner. I believe this is him towards the near post. Yeah, it is. Come on. That's decent. Nah, he was kind of leaning away from goal. So I'm not expecting that to go in, but I'm happy he won the header. Let me see if I can RPX this. I just want to see if he easily wins the header. Because as soon as I do that, I can obviously have a 1v1 opportunity with Dembele. So he can get completely, completely bullied onto the ground. Usually what happens is Dembele makes like a nice run there. And next thing you know, I'm through on goal. I'm actually going to go for this pass. Just to see if it works out, I must admit, it ain't a bad pass. I thought he was a little bit too far ahead of Fakir. To the point where the defender was just going to come out and get it. But it's actually perfect. Pass it down there. Fake shot that. No, I did the wrong fake shot. See if I can maybe recover off this. That's green, by the way. Oh, on his weaker foot as well. It looked like it was going in. It honestly did with that four-star weak foot. I'm actually going to go for it again. Second time. Okay, something doesn't add up. Something does not add up with the passing. You know what I mean? Like, what's, what's happening here? And I tried to see if we could go for like a wonder header, but it didn't work out. Dribble that. Through ball. Nice touch. Finish. What is that save? 
What is that animation? What have I just witnessed, man? I thought, especially on that four-star weak foot and all, especially with what we've seen as well with the finishing, I thought I was guaranteed to go in, but clearly, the keeper just pulled out a nice save. Is he going to make a run? No, I kind of want him to make that run down. You see how open that down is? There you go. He eventually did it, and he did it first time. Or maybe I don't. Or maybe I could have composed myself there and just simply ball rolled the keeper, but I did like how he noticed the space going down eventually. Let's give this another go towards the near post. Come on. Come on. That's good. No, he actually lost it to Boateng. Really? A six foot two player with like 92 jumping, losing a header there. Hmm. That's unacceptable. Can he get a goal here? That's a good touch. Finesse shot. Okay. We'll take the goal. Oh, that's not the skill move. Can I still make it work though? Really good skill move there. No, I tried to go for that 180 turn. It did take him a good time to actually pull it off. And then next thing you know, the touch was just not good enough. I am noticing the 180 turns of him, they're not great, man. They really ain't. They take a little bit too long. And next thing you know, your opponent, let's say, has actually read it and you can't do it anymore. Is he going to make that run? He doesn't make like an outrageous amount of runs, I must admit. Like right there, when he sees it wide open, obviously he'll actually go ahead and do it. No, that was meant to... Please. Oh my god, the angle as well. If he scored that, by the way, at that angle, that would have been incredible. I was not expecting that to even go anywhere near the goal, to be fair. I'm going to call him short here. Go for maybe a fake shot. See if I can get around him. I can't, man. I can't. He's really not one of those players that you can, like, just go ahead and go, go for a few skill moves with, let's say, and then, you know, eventually get around the player. You can go for maybe, like, a Lacoheta time to time or a fake shot time to time and stuff, but I feel like... He's best used as one of those players that gets inside the box. You touch, you turn, and you just bang it. And it'll most likely go in, especially with his finishing ability. He's actually sitting there on the edge of the box, wide open. I kind of want to go for a finesse shot, but I feel like this guy's covering it pretty well. I'm going to smack it towards the near post. Courtois has been amazing. He literally has been, man. He's pulled out so many good saves. I'm going to go for the scoop turn there. There you go. Chilling in the middle. Good fake. Ball rolled out as well. I'm trying to go for the turn, but it's a little bit delayed. I'm just going to pass it away, man. Yeah, the dribbling is like, it's good. It is, but it's not anything amazing. You can definitely notice it's a little bit heavy at like certain, certain angles. And okay, that shouldn't be going in. We, we all know it shouldn't. What is the keeper doing? I see you, Dembele. But you know what? I'm actually going to run it into my referee. Come on. I was about to say for a second. It would look like it paused, but it didn't at the same time. So I actually thought he wasn't going to give the penalty. But you see the pace, right? You see that come into play. I'm telling you, the guy's not slow. You get him in behind, and there's not many defenders that is actually going to catch him. And this is going flying top bins, isn't it? There you go. Just turn there. See if I can, once again, just use that pace. Actually going to bull roll this one. Turn quickly. There you go. We eventually got it to go. And that's a nice pass. I'm actually going to hit it first time. Because I believe in that Fakir left foot. Just to smack it across goal. I had to check there for a second if it actually was for Kier. We'll roll that. Nice. Really good turn. Get that. See if I can give it a few turns. Good shielding. Nice. Can I get an RB8? Oh my god. I don't know how, by the way. It went past that player back stick. I have no idea. But I'll take the goal and I'll take the quit. Just run. Keep it going. Now go for that through ball. See if he can just get in front. Or Romero, and he does really well. Can I go for that shot across goal? I can, but the keeper does save it. I'm telling you, man, the pace, the way he gets in behind is very easy. And the thing is as well, is that once he gets in front of the player, if the person gets close, he uses that strength just to hold him off. Come on, Banzer, you need to win this header, bro. Please. Near post, that's against, I was about to say, that's against Insigne. If he can't win a header against Insigne, I, I would have no hope. Literally. Come on, and again. Oh, hold up. Oh my, I'm going to tell you guys right, that's the best header I have ever seen in FIFA 22. That's literally chipped the goalkeeper. What is that for a header? Just go for a simple turn there. And again, I'm just going to run this one. Well played, use that strength, hold off the player. Look at that, man. Finesse? No, nah, I tried it. I don't usually finesse inside the box, by the way, but I've gave it a go twice this video. One time, obviously, it went in, and the other time, it went completely completely wide but he did use his strength a good amount there just to hold off the player 
So it is time to review and we ended up playing four games with Banzer. We actually walked away with seven goals and we also got ourselves two assists as well. Really enjoyable card to use by the way because this guy's pace, this guy's strength is no joke. The pace and strength for me by, are by far the best things about him. The strength, like being able to hold off anyone, I repeat anyone you want is always a beautiful thing to see, right? And the pace as well, you get this guy in behind with that strength combo as well where he gets in front of the player and he just holds holds off the player it's beautiful it's so beautiful to see now the shooting ability i mean it wasn't consistent like he's not a shot that goes in every single time right it's just he did let me down in some opportunities but at the same time i also let myself down in some opportunities with him because i felt like i could have done way better maybe compose myself a little bit go for like a ball around the keeper which i didn't do a single time this entire video i believe so yeah the shooting is just all right it's not like you shoot with this guy and it's going to go in every single time it's just it's a good shot the passing ability though i was kind of surprised at the passing to be fair because i knew the short passing was going to be good right 90 long passing you're expecting it to be top tier and it's exactly what it was it's just the long passing i thought was going to be a sticky one i was like right if i go for the switch all the way to the other side is it actually going to get onto the player and surprisingly it did it actually did. So the long passing isn't terrible. I definitely don't believe it is 65, 65 long passing. I definitely do believe it's a little bit higher. But don't trust in it every single time, right? Don't act like it's got like 90 long passing and then go for it every single time. Because most likely it will be inconsistent. And most likely it will not get there every time. So yeah, just keep it simple with this guy. Go for the short passes. The dribbling ability. It was okay. You know, it wasn't anything crazy. It wasn't anything good either i would say like it felt decent in some areas it's just i noticed at 180 angles oh that's when he took his time to really really go for the turn and by the time i went for that turn the defender already read it and next thing you know i've lost the ball so yeah the dribbling is okay there's nothing crazy about it obviously we can't sit here and compare him to like a name or anything like that when they're dribbling absolutely no chance but a card is going for seventy thousand coins do i believe it's worth it 70k honestly isn't bad pricing it actually isn't 70k is an okay price it's just with the league he plays in and i understand he's got french nationality right it's just the league he plays in, I don't think a lot of people are going to go ahead and complete the card because not many people want to go ahead and build a Liga NOS team. If you want to go ahead and be, uh, build a Liga NOS team, then obviously go ahead and get him. For 70,000 coins, it's okay pricing. It's just I feel like a lot of people are going to stay away from him because of the Liga NOS, right? There's not an outrageous amount of people you can link this guy up with. And if you are getting this guy into the team, you are most likely are linking him up with French players because even though he comes from the Liga NOS, it's the club. It's not, a, it's not a Porto, it's not a Sporting, it's not a Benfica, right? The club he plays in, I don't believe there's anyone that is, let's say, at a high level from that club apart from Banza. So yeah, the links really ain't that great. So I don't personally believe it is worth 70,000 coins. But if you want to do the card for fun, you're sitting there building a Liga NOS team, obviously go ahead and do it. Now, where would I put him in the attacker's tier list? He isn't a bad card. He definitely isn't. I don't believe he's an A tier. I can tell you that right now. But I believe he's a B tier. I think B tier for your boy Banzer. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.